I was very uncomfortable. Um, so I decided, you know, I've tried everything else. Let me try vegan. And of course I had some inspiration. I have a, a very close friend um, in my life who is vegan, who has been vegan, who inspired me because, you know, she was able to show me the ropes on what to make, how do you eat, this is what your snacks look like. So um, that helped a lot. Like it helped me stick and stay because with food, it's one of those things that we, we need it to live. So at the end of the day, if it's there and we're hungry, we're gonna eat it. You know, it's been interesting because I, when I started this journey, I, I had just had a baby and I did not know I would be pregnant again the following year. Um, so I remember at the end of my first semester having cravings for food. Um, certain foods that I hadn't been eating. And I had a beef craving for a couple months, but I persevered. If I could have eaten beef if I wanted to, don't get me wrong. If I want a steak, I'll eat it. But I just didn't. Um, but what I did give into, and I don't regret it, very thankful, um, was seafood. I had salmon, loved it. The first time I had salmon was on my uh, 16 months birthday. Uh, we took her to Caputo's for her birthday and I ate a piece of salmon and I enjoyed every last bite of it. And then I said, oh, well, I'm going to get some shrimp. So I ate shrimp. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to get some crab legs. So I had crab legs. Now I'm going to continue to be plant-based and continue to post food of things that I eat that are plant-based and share. Um, but like I said, I started this journey in a way where I said, I'm going to do this for now and I'm going to do it as long as, <clears throat> excuse me, my body, excuse me, is allowing me to do this. And this is something that I want to do. I'm not being forced to do this. This is my own choice. These are my own decisions. And at the point that I decide I don't want to do this, if and when, that's my business too. So uh, for now it's working, um, but I just did not and could not say that for the rest of my life I'm eating plant-based or I'm going to be plant-based. And the reason why is because I don't know the day that I will leave this earth. It could be at 90 years old. And from now, um, at the age that I am until then, it's a long time to make a promise to myself and commit to something that big. And I just, I can't do that. You know, 10 years from now, my body may say, hey, it's time to start eating steak. And if I need that to survive, I'm going to eat steak. So that's how I feel. So the couch I'm sitting on, I personally designed it. It was on the way to the trash can. And... Um, several years ago, I found the love for redoing uh, furniture and really customizing my design whenever I'm redoing a space. So I actually um, rescued this couch out of a trash can. It really wasn't in the trash can. But it was headed to the trash can. Um, picked out the fabric and had it redone by my um, upholstery um, man. Him and his wife used to do this together. Um, and so I just really have a thing for upholstery. I even like drapery. I just am really into that sort of thing. So along the way of my husband and I flipping properties, which we started formally flipping properties in 2015, I just really started growing more in being confident on the construction side. I have a lot of construction um, experience. My husband is a licensed general contractor. And then myself, I take over a lot of the designs. I pick out all the paints, finishes, and then um, the staging as well. So I just really put my heart into it, you know, and enjoy it. So gifts and talents, right? We all have them, right? And only you can be real about what your gifts and talents are and look into yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you know you have a talent that you're not working. You know you have a gifting that you're not applying, right? And every day, a day goes by, right? And we have a choice to make in that day if we're gonna do what we've been called to do. And so no one can answer that question except for you. Did you pour out that day what you were supposed to pour out? And so um, I just want to encourage you 
or just put this out here. Make sure that every day you're making it count. You know, we all have off days. I have off days, right? We all have, you know, periods of times that maybe we're in a stupor. But at the end of the day, you know, remembering I have something to accomplish. I know that each day that I do not make a, a step, take a step forward or make progress, I'm only, you know, robbing myself of an opportunity that can change my life, change my family's life, change somebody else's life. Because one thing I've learned from experience is that when you're in position doing what you're supposed to do, you inspire other people to get into position to do what they're supposed to do. And you remember that. No venture, no gain. Oh my God. Hey, I'm going to do this the whole video. <laughs> you guys like the shimmy? You know what you should do every Friday? You should shimmy. Oh my God. <laughs>